So in this video, I'm going to show you and explain the toolkits and softwares that are required for web development. This set of tools are referred to as development environment. And at the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of what web development environment means and the tools that should be on your development environment list as you start your coding journey. Let's get into it. Firstly, a development environment are tools used for developing softwares or websites. So in web development, we need a means to write code, manage the versions and progress of our code, preview the output of the code, collaborate with others on the code, and share the project with our audience. So let's take a look. So the first tool we are going to be looking at is the code editor or text editor. Code editor or text editor allows us to write source code for languages like HTML, CSS, or programming languages like JavaScript, Python, C Sharp, or any other programming languages. There are several code editors out there, but the most preferred and recommended code editor for following tutorials on this channel is Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code or VS Code for short is a popular software that is being used for writing code in the tech industry. So to follow along in this tutorial, I'm going to be making use of Visual Studio Code and you should also have it installed on your system. This will ensure that we are having the same experience while you are watching any code tutorial on this YouTube channel. So to get this on your system, you can head to their website code.visualstudiocode.com I'm going to be leaving a link uh, to the website on the video description as well or you can head to google and do visual studio code or vs code for short then click the first link that appears on your screen you are going to see this button download mac universal so i'm seeing mac because i am on mac and if you are on windows you might see um, something like download windows so if you want to download for another operating system you can also click this drop down and then select uh, maybe for mac os windows or linux depending on what operating system that you want so after the installation is completed um, you are going to see an interface like this so the interface for vs code is the same across every operating system so be rest assured that whatever i'm doing on vs code on this channel is the same experience you are going to be having on your end as well so once you have this installed you are going to see this and then um i mentioned vs code as extensions that we can install some of the extensions I have here is uh what are being listed here so during the course of uh the tutorials if there's any um extension that i'm using i'm also going to let you know i have about 61 extensions that have been used for maybe like back end or front end works or for just uh, documentation so if there's anyone that is going to be useful for you that i'll be using in the tutorial i will definitely let you know if there's any experience that you observe that you're not having from your own end you can let me know and then i can point you to the right extension so you can pause this video and then proceed to install visual studio code on your system if you encounter any issue you can let me know in the comment section and i'll be happy to help now that you've set up vs code on your machine the next development environment we are going to be looking at is git git is a version control system that allows us to keep track of changes in a computer files it allows us to also take a snapshot of the current state of a file which means like we can save a particular state of our code base at a particular point in time a code base is the large collection of all the source code we are writing so if you're writing an html code with css code and then javascript code you can combine them and say this is my project code base so we are going to be making use of git later on to keep track of stages and versions of our code base in such that we can roll back to any version or declare a particular state of our application code base as a certain version number so to set up git on your machine you can go to google and type git git and then uh, visit the first link uh, in the search result and then you are going to land on the website then you can look over here on the uh, pc screenshot if you are on mac you are going to say download for mac if you are on windows you are going to say download for windows and any other operating system that is being supported by git and you can also see some other download option but you should make use of this uh, button uh, to set it up 
so once you set it up uh, you are going to have git installed on your system and now to confirm if git is properly installed on your computer you can add to your vs code and press the key combination control shift and grave symbol and then you can type git dash v which stands for version this is just to verify the version of the git to be installed so click enter and then you are going to see the version of the git that is being installed if you encounter any error that means that git is not properly installed on your computer then you can retrace your step go back to the video ensure you download the correct version for your operating system and if that persists you can reach out on the community platform another way to confirm this is by also uh, using git dash dash version so this is the full command git dash dash version or git dash v for short so when you press enter you are still going to get uh, the same version number so the next development environment tools we are going to be discussing on is the browser a browser is a software that is being used for surfing the internet it is used to visit websites and other resources online the website is also useful for checking the output of our code locally before pushing it to our audience there are popular browsers like chrome developed by google we also have the mozilla firefox browser which is a popular browser as well we also have the safari browser which comes along with any ios operating system and lastly we have the arc browser which is an alternative to chrome so there are also browser out there so depending on your preference and what you are building and maybe the number of your audience that are using the browser you might also want to include it as well i will also advise that you have one or two of them and if you can have uh, all of them on your system that is fine as well and the reason is because you'll be able to check the compatibility of what you are building on all of this browser so you want to ensure that whatever you are building as a web developer or software developer is running on each of these browsers so you don't want to assume that all of your customers or all of your users are going to be using chrome or a particular browser so you want to ensure that you cover almost all of this browser and your features is not breaking on any of them but for now you don't have to be worried about this compatibility because we are moving into the basics for now and by the time we get to that point where we have to ensure that our features doesn't break on any of the browser we are going to go deep into how each of the browsers are built because they have different engine which is actually beyond the scope of this particular video so next up we are going to be talking about github to collaborate with other people on our project code base, we need a web-based Git repository. GitHub is an online platform that allows developers to share and collaborate on a code base. We are going to be using this in the future to store our code in the cloud. This is going to serve as our online code storage. Let's see GitHub as a code bank where we store and retrieve our code base. So to set up your GitHub account, you can head to github.com or you can do a Google search uh, for github and when you land on the page you can create an account follow the instructions on the page and once you have your account set up you can go to your profile and you are going to have your own username where people can see your profile what you do you can then go ahead to set up your profile to contain the information about you as a developer it also has a features for following and followers you can follow developers which you find interesting and then you can get notification on whatever they are building and as well if you scroll down uh, all these are just uh, the badges i've received from contributing to open source so and then uh, it has a feature where you can keep track of all the contributions all the codes that you are pushing to your repositories so later in the future we are going to go deep into what github is and how to actually make use of it to store your code and when your pc get lost you are not worried as a developer that you lost your code base because it is actually online as well and then this github allows you to collaborate with others uh imagine working on a team of 50 people and then how do you now share code among one another that is why we are going to be learning github for collaboration and lastly we are going to be talking about blogging 
So documenting your journey is also part of blogging. And one of the things that makes a good developer is the ability to put what they know or implement into writing. It is also recommended that you write about your learning journey as we've talked about in the last video. The recommended and the primary blogging platform for tutorials on this channel is Ashnode. Ashnode is a free blogging platform that enables you to create a free account and also host it on your desired hostel domain. This is useful for past personal branding and it helps with selling yourself and showcasing what you need as a developer. You can head to uncubigbay.com to check out my own personal blog and have inspiration on how you can also run your own. Later in the future, I'm going to be creating videos on how you can get into technical writing as a beginner as well. This way, you can also monetize basics that you know as a beginner. So on my own blog, I have different kind of content ranging from product showcasing these are the product that i've built and then i write about my career down to writing about tutorials to 2022 milestones and different kind of tutorials that i have interest in also in the future we could have a team blog on ashnode where you can submit your article and then can review before you publish so guys that's it for this video where we set up our development environment against the next video where we are going to write our first code we are going to begin with html and that's where we are going to be making use of some of the development environment that we've talked about in this video so before you leave there's going to be an assignment i love giving assignment as uh, a front-end instructor at style lab that is how i know that you know what i just taught so there's going to be a google form link in the video description there's a couple of questions so the way to go about it is to uniquely identify each of us it's going to require your github username as well so you have to set it up before you attempt uh, the question see you in the next video bye bye so you can pause this video and install v Visual. In the interface for Visual Studio Code, the interface for Visual, the interface for VS Code is the interface for VS Code. This at compact, but for now you don't have to be worried about this contab um and uh. But for now you don't have to be worried about the contabil. But for now, you don't have to be worried about the compatibility. But for now, you don't have to be worried about the compatibility of. But for now, you don't have to be worried about the compatibility of your what. But for now, you don't have to be worried about the compatibility. But for now, you don't have to be worried about.